Hello, welcome to episode 11, I think, of Pro Me Plays Mario Maker 2. As always, we're going through the level sharing thread from the Waypoint forums. I'm kind of skipping over levels that people share that aren't made by them. Not because there's anything wrong with those levels, just because I'm kind of doing it more for the community there, so it makes a bit more sense just to play the levels actually made by those people. But it's a good place to find levels in general, which is good. Uh, first up, we're going to be playing Browser by DJ Gillard. They are DJ Gill 12 on the forum. They describe this as it's a little hard at the start, but it gets easier as you go. Really pleased with how this one came together. Relatively low clear rate, but nothing scary. It really gets scary when it goes under 1%. The ones that are under 1% are the ones where I'm like, I'm not going to be able to finish this. This is, uh, if nothing else, more time than I have to spend. Oh, God. Why did I keep hitting these? None of them are good. Why did I keep hitting them? Oh, no, oh, okay. A little hard at the start, eh? No, I probably needed that. No! No! Okay. Oof, damn it! I don't think you're meant to come down from there. I think you're meant to be just for sure. Oh my god! Hmm, gets easier as it goes, my butt. I went too far that time. I thought this is really easy. I'll just be able to just hold the button and hold jump and then I'll bounce automatically. But no. God. Did you go? What are you doing? What are you doing to me? Ah, uh, no! <laughs> That's mean. Purposely made a pretty mean level, I think. I looked before this, and they, they haven't posted them in the forum, but DJ Girl's previous levels are this level is bad, don't play it, and this level is bad too. Which are naming conventions I can get back. I did it again! I don't know how to really get around that. Oh god, I could just die there, that gets around it. I don't hit those saws if I die before it. Let's do it. Oh. That was probably not where I had to use that. That's probably not where I had to jump to my death. I dare say that was not what I should have been doing at all. <laughs> I just missed it entirely. The cup is literally one block back from where it would be ideal for it to be. The rest of them are fine. Which makes me think it's probably unintentional. Oh, so you can kill it. Watch me somehow need these chain jumps. I murder all these dogs. Oh, damn it! Yes, it was not that hard. It just has that one tricky jump here. That I think I've. Let's go see. I've got down, but I'm definitely going to mess it up now. Yeah, see. But like, I mostly got it down. So it's tricky, but it's not super hard. They weren't kidding when they said it gets easier the further in you get. Alright. Kill another one of these. Kill another one of these. Take a running jump and mess up the running jump. Oh, I need to actually kill Bowser. 
No, 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 no. Hey, but a buddy. Why do you come and fight me out here? Come on, buddy. Uh... Yeah. Okay, I need to know actually. Okay. I would have put a secret up there, because uh, I'm crazy. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> oh, you must be able to set what you get for doing it, because I got a raccoon tail from that one. And then I lost all of it. I lost everything. Jesus, this level, DJ Go. It's good. It's cruel. It's incredibly cruel. Hey, that one's good points. Um. <laughs> okay, that's not what you need to do. Oh, can you go in that top pipe? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, you need to go in the top pipe because we came through a pipe to get here. <laughs> okay, I don't know if he intended that to be that misleading, or if I'm just stupid and was like, yeah, I need to, you know, <laughs> jump over this. That was a cool level. I really like that. Not super difficult. Like, you know, a bit challenging. That one jump is annoying the first couple of times, but then once you get it, Nice. I tried it. Good job, DJ Gale. Look forward to playing your future levels. Next up, we have Cat Mining by someone called Protome? Protome? Who knows? I'll never know. Um, <laughs> my clear percentage is at 6 points. Yes! Yes! I can't play this now because this is 6.66%. I don't think my playing it will change it. Uh, mine was the next level on the list. And I've not showed this one on the video, so I figured, hey, I can show my level off too. Um, this isn't much of a level. This was more like I thought of an idea and then tried to turn it into a bit of a level concept but couldn't really I couldn't really find a way to elaborate on the idea so the idea is basically these giant bullet bells whatever the hell they're called bonsai bells oh I don't think I want to kill it I forget um they can destroy things they can destroy blocks like we just saw back at the start there um but there was no way to realize this part of it which is that if you're cat mario you can redirect them And so my plan was make a cool little level where you can use these to do some light puzzle solving and platforming stuff. Um, but it's kind of limited what you could do with them. I'm sure someone will come up with something smarter with the idea than me. I feel like that tends to be what happens. I'm good at coming up with the idea of these things sometimes, but not, you know... Oh, whoops. No, actually elaborating on them, making an interesting level out of them. But I like the idea of it. I have made so few levels in this game. I think I've made four. Oh yeah, one of these has coins in it. That was just because I thought it was funny. Uh, this guy can go away. Oh my god! How did I even do that? That was just silly. Oh yeah, so like this teaches you you can do that. Oh, I want to jump on it. 
and then you get the cat suit and you can use it to redirect them. And that's like the core idea of it. And it's not really too complicated. I think the platforming sequence that I died at the first time is maybe... I don't think it's even that precise, but one of those jumps is a little blind, which I didn't really want it to be. It just ended up that way. Um... And also you can't really swipe at these if they're like not like if they're too far away. So like this one's a little bit blind, which I didn't really mean it to be. I don't think there's anything up here. I don't think I put any secrets up here. Despite just criticizing that last level for it. I didn't do it either. Because I'm not that crazy. As much as I said I was. And this was actually really just an excuse to use the snow theme, because I like the snow theme. There's a secret up here. Completely optional. Look at this. Uh, it does take you back though. Although, now that I think about it, can you soft lock up there? Definitely soft lock up here. Well, my level's broken. I'm glad I noticed this after I uploaded it and it had been played by a handful of people. It seems like no one else is soft locked there though, because usually people put up a. Oh my god. I've never seen that happen before. Alright. We'll get through my level quickly, and then we'll get to the real levels again. Because we have a lot to get through. Uh, there's not really anything beyond that point. Uh, it's just more of the same. Because, again, I couldn't really think of a way to elaborate on it. The platform sequence in here is kind of the most complex thing. And even then, it's not really complex. It's just... Send one out, bounce on it. Nothing too complicated. Even this jump's a little blinder than I would like it to be. I don't like making blind jumps on my levels. They ain't good. I think I meant to put coins there and I just forgot. Very slapdash this level, clearly. The author should be ashamed. Oh yeah, I forgot about this here. My intention was that you could kill him with these. But he kind of just comes out. And it's not really doable. You can't need to just fight him normally. I actually need to go get a cast out again. Ah! Ah! Leave me alone. It's actually not hard to kill him with... Can't marry him either. Or you could just leave him. You don't actually need to kill him at all. And there's this bit, which is just killing him. And then this bit, which I thought was cool, but was, you know, it's not really interactive. <laughs> it's just you've watched them all blow up a wall. Yeah, it was an idea. If you can think of better things to do with the idea. Please do. As Nico Cat, it's a good idea. It's just not. Yeah. Next up, we have Pedal to the Metal by Calamari. They are questionable on the forum. As in, that's their name. Not that they do questionable things. Uh, it's a driving level. Which is cool. Uh, they want to try and make an Endless Runner style car level. You only need to jump, but apparently you need to turn the car around a little bit at the start. So basically it should mostly play itself, but you just need to jump. Uh, oh. I need to jump! <laughs> I literally just said it. Oh my 
my god, this jump is... Jumping with the car. Harder than it might seem. Oh my god. Can into the pipe harder than it should be. Not because of level design, but because of... Kieran design. Um, my designer didn't really know what they were doing. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god! I'm gonna die. Oh, I didn't have the speed for that. You really need to get that jump the first time. You can't... You can't do it otherwise. Can I do this, Carlos? Let's see. Oh, I'm right at the end. Yeah, I can. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't think I could do that. I'm very bad at using the car in this game. Yay! It's not that complicated, it's just I'm bad at it. It's a good level. Good little... old runner kind of thing. I enjoyed it. Good job, Calamari. Another good level. Yeah, we've played a couple more of Calamari's levels on these videos before. And they've all been pretty good, so... Good job! Well, next one, just blasting through these. Next up we have Growing Pains by Lazy Piranha or Crimson Bailet on the forums. We've played a couple of Crimson Bailet's levels. One of them was brutally difficult. One of them was good thematically. This one seems maybe more towards the former given the clear rate. Um, they describe it in the forum thread as I had an idea for a particularly unpleasant little trap and I based a level around it. It's not too hard once you figure out you need to be careful around certain things. Alright. <laughs> okay. It's a good start. How do you... How do I do this then? How... Because <laughs> you need to do that to get up there. You definitely need to get <laughs> like a lot of other people have the same idea of me. They're like, ah, well, clearly I just need this then. Because there's no way to hit it otherwise. I don't think you must be able to just jump off it before you get to the top. Whoops. <sighs> that was entirely my fault. As always is. I get right to the edge of it. Ah, it's not too bad. I hate tweezers so much. Oh my! Ah, oh, no. uh, horizontal thumps as well. My nemesis, nemesis. Is. I don't know how good a movie it is, but I really liked. Mystery Men as a kid. I think I've watched it like once since I grew up and remember still liking it. I just remember the bit where Jeffrey Rush is like uh, talking to the main superhero and the main superhero is like, you're being my greatest nemesis. This is nemesis. This is nemesis. So every time I hear that word, I think of that scene. And that movie had Jeffrey Rush playing a villain called Casanova Frankenstein. Like, what? How could you not love it? It's the movie that gave us the song All Star. That's right, that song was written for Mystery Men, not for Shrek. That's why it's in the, tra uh, in the music video. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know if it holds up. Probably not. Comedy. Ages. I can't do this. Like, the actual... The actual trap was not that bad. This tweester is the thing that's killing me. Oh, God. Unless this tweester with the horizontal thwomps was the real trap. All along. Or maybe the trap was the boundaries we put up with ourselves. Maybe it was the thwomps in our hearts. Uh, which is the name of my Fault in Our Stars fan fiction. Uh, this time, I've got it. I've nailed it. I'm not thinking about Mystery Men anymore. I'm just platforming like a pro. Like a pro. I need to have that on off switch because there's spiky blocks everywhere. So I think I actually need to get on the thwomps. But, oh, am I just being impatient? Can I just get on the thwomp when it comes back? That's probably the smarter option. I don't know if it's the intended option, but it's probably the easier option. <laughs> the crusher still gets me. So let's get over the slump. Stay here. Get on the thwomp. I think that's what I want to do. Oh, and that's a regular thwomp. Oh, can I get this one to... Nope. Like, if the other one's down, does it keep going? No, it still stops here. Did the other ones die? I need to go down on the thwomp. That's not a sentence I should say on a video. Uh, I need to ride the thwomp down. That's not any better. But then I need to jump off a part way and hit the on off button. It's not as hard as I'm making it. <laughs> but it's, I'm very prone to dying. I'm like, what's her face in the uh, Russian doll? This tweester is my version of that staircase from the first episode. If you haven't watched Russian Doll on Netflix, it's very good. I definitely recommend it. Right. Nope! Uh, I got closer though. This time. Crimson Bailet. I mean, good levels, buddy. But they're better than me. Nope. Nope. Let me take a sip of my beer. This will definitely help. Beer is known to help the, the, the reaction times of people. <laughs> it's why, uh, it improves your accuracy, it's why darts players drink so much of it. Do people watch darts outside of the UK? I don't think people watch darts in the UK anymore. I keep doing that every time. Except like old people. It's not a lot. It's a thing that like bills itself as a sport, but then everyone that plays it is like beer bellied and okay, I guess I can't say that. I don't actually know. I don't actually watch it. Every time I see someone that's like, this is a darts player, you're like, yeah, I could tell. Nothing wrong with that. It's just funny because it bills itself as though it's a sport and it's like, that's not Oh, there's a thing right there. I landed on it. This time. This time. This is definitely going to crush me again, isn't it? Okay, no. 
this time though. <laughs> Bail it, you monster. I hoped you wouldn't do it a second time. <laughs> no. There must be more of them. Uh, such a cruel trap. This time, I'm going to mess that up. That's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Everything's fine. I forgot about it entirely. Oh my god. I'm making silly mistakes. It's only like the second level we've played. <laughs> Twisters are my worst enemy in this game. I was so bad at them. I just always mess up like that. Um, almost that spiny level that we did in one of the first episodes. Might be in the first episode actually. Where I kept jumping into the twister and you had to spin jump on the, the spiny that was in it, but it kept falling just below the top of the twister and so you get caught in it and then die. Ugh. Did it again! This time. Anyway. Special for what I said before. I have nothing against darts players. But I don't know anyone that watches darts. Because it's not exciting. I don't know, I'm sure someone watches it. They still show it on TV. But I'd be interested to know if Americans watch darts. Is it a thing? Is snooker a thing in America? Or other countries in general, I guess. Oh, I messed that up royally. Come on, buddy, come back to me. I think he's despawned. Alright, time to use my pro strats. Ha <laughs> Oh, I messed up. I'm just gonna do that next time. I keep failing at that on-off block. So if I just don't do it. <laughs> that time I jumped. I did worse than I have done any other time. I jumped. Like a fool. Oh god, oh god, oh god. God damn. Weaster. I just sometimes get thrown out at weird angles. I can't recover from it. Because I'm bad at this game. Like that. I recovered that time. Right. I got to my pro strats of... Oh, so you only get one chance. <laughs> my pro strats didn't work a second time. It's a one-time trick. This level's not even actually that hard. I'm messing up because I'm doing stupid things like forgetting to walk forward. And this. This is prime stupidity. Okay, so I skipped it. Makes that battle less scary in general, really. I would have stuck a red block somewhere here that you have to stand on. Because it would make this you know, harder. Um, right. Oh! Or you could do that. That makes that harder. Maybe you did think about this, or it's just a nice coincidence. Did it. I'm gonna try again. And I'll try to approach. Oh my god. Get used to that. There could be a lot more of that, I think. See? Dying in stupid ways at the start. Alright. This time. I jump again. I don't know why. 
We don't have space to jump. You just need to hold right. That's all you need to do. And then when Mario has stood up, he walks off the thing and he doesn't die. Is that... I don't know how I fell out that twister that time, though. I impressive. <laughs> it just fell. Tweesters. I wonder if anyone else has as much trouble with tweesters as I do, or if it's just... Me. That was dumb. Distracted by a spider walking across my floor. I'm gonna let him live. Well, he is worryingly going towards my laptop. Right. This time. This time. This time. Easy, easy. Let this guy fall. Do it the proper way. I don't think. I think you could do it the not proper way, but it's not actually that much easier. I just need to time that jump properly, which I was not doing. Remember to walk off this. That's where I was getting let down before. That is scary to me. I just, I'm apparently the only person that's died there though. I have no excuse for that one. I was literally just hit the wrong button, walked off the edge, and that was the end of Mario. Oh, wait, that fired me off at a weird angle again. I recovered that time now. Oh, I think I've left too late. Nope, did it. I thought I'd missed it. I missed my chance. Come on. Right. Walk off it. Spin. No. <laughs> I forgot the whole jump. Or I tried and fell off. <sighs> Watch this be like the start of the level, and there'd be like another four of these traps. Just starting to get that bit done. It's just the start of the level that I'm getting messed up on for silly reasons. All right. Uh, is this gonna crush me again? I'm scared. Oh, that was even worse. One of these is going to try to crush me again, and I'm just being... <laughs> uh, uh. He tried to teach me. That's why those ones all rotate around on themselves, or double back on themselves, you'd rather. It's to teach you. It's a smart level design. It's a not smart player. You gotta jump. I wonder if you can jump on or if you just need to skip it. We need to jump. But at least there's a warning. Oh my god. Twister! Don't do this to me, man. You used to be cool. That's not true. Twister was never cool. I don't know if those are actually called Twisters. They're called Twisters in Mario Party, I think. But I don't know if that's... I don't know if Mario Party is like a... Uh, reliable source on Mario lore because they're bad games. Ugh. Mario Party. I've been distracted by thinking about bad games. The Switch one does look pretty decent though. Ugh. As far as those games go. Alright.
this time. Uh huh. I watched the end of Evangelion or Evangelion? Evangelion? Uh, right before this, and that was a uh, trip. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. I knew parts of it. And I also knew the bit that became a meme for a while. Yeah. But yeah, that movie's good. No spoilers, obviously, because I'm not a monster. I didn't come to this video to hear about the end of Evangelion. But I liked it. In a lot of ways, it seemed like a, you know... A... Uh, a middle finger to everyone that didn't like the ending of the anime. <laughs> but then also it stands on its own as also a really cool thing. At least I thought. Oh god. Oh god. That went more wrong than it has went before. I'm not giving up on this level though, because it's doable. I do wish there was a checkpoint at that bet that I died before though. I appreciate that Crimson Baelic can go from making these like incredibly difficult levels to making like that Mega Man themed one he did before. I think that was Crimson Bailey that did that. That was like super easy but thematic. I can't really do either. Oh my god! Uh, I've made levels called beginnings and middles and I feel like I need to make one called ends now but I've not really thought about what would go in it. Like, neither of those are super complicated. The first one's like a 1-1 one -one style thing. The second one's a bit harder. I don't think I'd make the third one harder. Because the second one's not that hard, but... But it's also a bit all over the place, because I didn't... My whole... thing was just, I don't know, donut blocks. I think it's a fun level, but it's not... You know... It's just donut blocks. Um... So maybe I'll try and make like a Bowser Castle thing or something. Put a boss fight in it, I've not put a boss fight in any of my levels. The part like I just don't really find them that interesting because there's really not much you can do with boss fights. I'd want to maybe think of something more original. At least I think not many people have been doing what they did in Mario Maker 1, and myself included, of um making boss fights where you had to use bob bombs which was definitely a, a trend in Mario Maker 1. I don't think it was a trend because people played other people's levels that did it. I think a bunch of us just all came to the same idea at the same time because I know not many people played my level with it and I certainly hadn't played- oh my god I keep dying here. I hadn't played any other levels that had that concept. I just kind of thought of it because I was messing around with bob bombs. But around the same time, I saw like a good handful of other levels doing the same thing, so obviously, I wasn't the only one to have the idea. That did not look like I should have hit that, but hey. Ah! I'm dying at bits that I can finish, and that's the most annoying part. Damn, Twister. This is gonna be the whole level. Or whole episode. Which is fine. I can live with that. Oh my god! That Twister! 
If that tweaker wasn't there, I would have finished this level by now. Whoop. Whoop. Yay. Level finished. Oh god. Alright. But yeah, I don't have a lot of ideas. I started to work on like a thematic level that was gonna be you go through like a cave and then you end up in a fortress and why did that happen? That was a mistake. Um But I've not really done much with it yet. I've kind of an idea of a theme, but I don't know how to make it fun. I think I need to just go back and play like actual Mario Brothers 3. Oh, no. Mario World and kind of get a better feel for, you know, how full blown Mario games play. I think that's what I did in Mario Maker 1 was that I played. Like, I, I ran out of ideas for levels and I went back and played Mario Bros. 3 and was like, oh, I can, I can, this is how these things feel. It wasn't like taking parts of levels or anything, it was just taking the feel of how those levels played and making something that felt similar. And I think I've just not played those in a while now, so it's hard. I need to stop doing that. But if I don't do the spin, I hit the end of that spike and I can't jump because we saw what happened when I jump off these. It is irritating, but I can do it. I'm starting to get that down last. I still miss it now and again, but I'm definitely dying more often here than there. Wall jumps. Oh my god! That was terrifying! I know I'm gonna die at this same bit again after all this. Oh, well, I died at a slightly different bit. <sighs> Something at least. But yeah, I need to set and make more levels. Because I do enjoy it. But I think I need to play some old Mario first. Oh, no. um. This time. I feel good about it this time. This is this is the one. This is gonna be the run. This is gonna be the one time we do this and we never do it again. Look at that. So now I just need to remember this tries to push me off. Well these ones are fine actually, but there's one down here. So I jump right away, right? Yeah. Oh god. Ah, uh, no. Listen, Bailey, what are you doing? Uh, this last one's definitely going to have a crushing thing at the end of it, isn't it? You monster. <laughs> oh, I did it. I like levels that are hard like that because you feel so good when you finish them. <laughs> oh, that was a good level. That's a good evil trap. I think I died more on the twister than I died on your actual trap though. Ah, oh, it's easy, clearly. I think if you ever see me post easy as a comment on any of these, it's because it's actually really difficult. I don't think I've ever put easy on an actual easy level. This is a really good level. I enjoyed it a lot. Anyway, on to the next one. Because there will be a next one. Next up, we have Sweetest Frozen Fees from Akenben. Same name on the forum. Hurry to the castle for warm, yummy trees. 
seems simple enough. Decent clear rate, probably not too bad. Famous snow at night, <laughs> sounds good. Also, I looked on the forum to see if there's any responses to Crimson Bale, it's growing pains. And, oh god, I can't take any damage in this. Um, one person responded saying, the trap is cool. Actually, it was Ekenben that responded, saying the trap is cool, but I couldn't progress after that. Those wind things are terrible. I agree, Ekenben. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Oh, <laughs> I messed up the... The encroaches is neat. Ah! Ah! Hacking Ben, what are you doing? You made it too hard for me, for poor little old pro me. I assume there is in fact something that can do damage at some point. Oh, come on. I need to go back under. I need the momentum. How do you make that jump? Snow themes are so good. Such a good addition. Come on. Come on, get in there. Oh my god. Uh, oh, okay, now you start in spikes. Oh no! Alright, let's see how far I was. I don't know if I can do this. This is very precise jumping. I genuinely don't know if I'm good enough for this. I can bend. I was going through this and I was like, this is cool and easy and I can do it. And then you actually made it difficult. It's these ones in particular that I'm going to mess up on and die. Getting better at these though, at least. But then when there's spikes there, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. All right. Oh, that's so scary. It's this one. I'm gonna die on this one. So yeah, see? Oh, it's tough. I think I can do it. I got pretty far that time. Getting farther each time. That's the important thing. Oh. <laughs> Until I run in without crouching. And then I realize that I'm bad. I really need to try and get this one down properly because that's where I'm losing. That's better. That's definitely better. This one. Hopefully there's no spikes on this one at the end. I don't think there is. Hmm. I'm really a tip seems to just be to crouch the whole time. Oh, no, oh, come on. Oh, yay. No. Ugh. All right, how far was it? This is just going to take me to the end, isn't it? Oh, I was so close. All right, this is doable. I literally died on the last spike. I got this. Oh, I must have messed that up again. Slow and steady. But really, it was this one that messed me up. I do like that as a concept, though of making you go through what is, I think, the exact same 
course twice, except the second time it's actually dangerous. But it's smart. Because you could technically just sit and practice on that first one as much as you want. If you're not, you know, impatient like me. And besides, actually, no, I'm just going to rush through it over and over and die. Oh, right at the end again. Like, you could just go back and forward through this and perfect it. Which I'm not going to do, because I'm impatient, as I said before. I'm just going to keep going and keep dying and see how it goes. Oh, whoops. Whoops. I know I'm messing all of it up, so this is definitely going to go poorly. I'm just using more of a test bed for how much I'm messing up. Because now I'm getting here, I'm going to make all the same mistakes. Ooh. Ah ha ha! Too high that time. I'm liking this though. It's a cool idea. I've not really seen anything that uses, like, the slippery ground in this way. Um, which is what happens, so, I think I explained this in a previous episode, but I think you shouldn't know. The snow theme by default is not slippery. Uh, except regular ice blocks are. But when you make it in the night theme, because you can make day and night versions of any area, uh, the ground becomes slippery. It's like a proper snow level from, you know, a Mario game, which is cool. But of course no one likes proper snow levels because they're all slippery and you control kind of bad. But this is a good use of them. <laughs> no! Ugh. Especially because it's so momentum based. Like, you can get through a lot of this, like, my best runs at this so far have definitely been when I've kept that momentum the whole time. It seems like definitely how these jumps were built. Around the idea of, like, you duck once and then you make all the jumps. Not, you know, like that. Oh god, I might have lost too much momentum there. Trying to go through two of them with the same momentum may be, uh, overambitious. That last jump definitely seems to be the hardest, though. I mean, not that I'm reaching it anymore. But I'm not doing it properly, even in the practice one. So the odds of me... Oh, God. The odds of me doing this one here correctly are just so low. I'm getting close, though. I can do it. I believe in myself. I actually almost feel like I wish there was a door to let you skip this part after you've done it a couple of times and failed. Because I just want to do the real thing. I want to do the real deal. So the door just took it to the end, this would be handy to skip what is essentially the tutorial. But really the way you skip the tutorial should just be that you don't die, you get good. Oh no! Oh, or a checkpoint I guess. But then, you kind of need to go through this practice area multiple times. You might not realise that they're the exact same jumps the first time, so making you do it a couple of times makes sense. It's just good level design, honestly. It's, it's very good. Oh, that was... I thought I was hold crouch, but apparently I was not. Okay. Come on, buddies. No momentum at all. Let's do it. Oh my god. None of that felt good. This doesn't feel good. 
I'm definitely going to botch this because these last couple of jumps have been bad. Yeah. As you can feel it. You can you can feel when you're just barely making jumps or failing to make jumps, you're like, nah, this isn't going to go well. This isn't the run. This one, though. It's a good start. Feels good. Oh, that was not great, but... Hey. This one, every time. Ugh. I don't know if you put ice blocks in there if it makes it more slippy. I don't think so. That'd be silly. You could be like, this is snow and this is double snow. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, come on! Ah. It's tough. But it does entirely feel like it's my fault. I might have just reached my limit on that jump. Because I've, I've done it right like twice. Like, including the practice ones. somewhere stupid this time. I've got a feeling. See, I thought I was going to die there, because that would have been the right level of silly. Oh. Oh. Damn it! It's that second last one every time. Well, every time I get past the ice block. Oh man. It's not even when I mess up in the practice thing anytime, it's just for some reason. I jump too high on it every time. I think I'm so happy that I got through the ice block. No, 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 no. It's not gonna work. This theme's just making me wish it was snowy, but it is the middle of summer. And we don't get much snow in Scotland regardless. But definitely not in July. Well, you know what? Scottish Hope weather's weird, so... I bet it has snowed in July before. Because that's what our weather's like. Oh my god. I've definitely botched this. Oh no, I didn't! That's so scary every time it happens. Damn it! So close. Ah, oh, this time. Died on the last one again. But I've never made it past the last one. I mean, too fair. If I'd made it past the last one, I would have won. Because it's the last one. It's the last place you look. Yeah. Should make a Mario skateboarding game, I think. This is what this level's teaching me. Of all the Mario spin-offs they made, how did they not make a skateboarding game? Back when Tony Hawk's were like the most popular games. Well I don't know if they were the most popular games. I know me, a bunch, amongst me and my friends. Oh my god. At least a handful of them were scared though. Well, maybe not a handful, a couple. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, we definitely played a lot of those Tony Hawk games. There was a really good Disney one. I forget the name of it. I always forget the name of it. But there was a Disney skateboarding game that ran on a Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 engine. 
And so it was just a really good skateboarding game because Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 was a really good one. And it just had Disney levels and you could play as Disney characters. There's like a Jungle Book level and you could play Simba and it was really good. And when people bring up like good skateboarding games, I feel like it never gets brought up. Despite the fact that it's just a really good Tony Hawk game. Like, even had all the multiplayer modes you'd expect, like, you could play Donkey and stuff. But maybe I'm just misremembering because I was a child, and actually it's terrible, which is also possible. Okay. I felt like I was definitely going to lose it on that spike. Oh my god. This is this does not board well, I'll be honest. Hey. Every time it doesn't board well, I seem well, I seem to nail that one. Now, why did I walk into that? That was the dumbest one so far. Why did I do that? Ah, oh, this yeah, doing this first bit over and over has become tedious. At least I'm getting fast at it. I see as I mess it up and get stuck. And lose all my momentum. I think that's definitely the coolest thing about this level is the momentum. I'd love to make like a... Like a don't stop version of this. We just go through the whole level... Not ever stopping and... It becomes super difficult to finish it if you do stop. That makes sense. Like something that relies on carrying that momentum throughout the whole level. Okay, do not run into the bloody spike again. I don't know if I can do this. I think I do actually need the momentum from back here. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I was telling you about jumps earlier that feel bad. That like you're not going to make it. That definitely felt like I had messed that up. But I did it. <laughs> oh, that was a good level. <laughs> Oops. And then I accidentally leaned on my little adapter and took a screenshot. I'll always remember when I beat Akin Ben's level. <laughs> he a plumber and he got feet. And he big. He big. All right. Nice. I really like that level. Uh, ignore my complaints about tediousness and stuff like that. That's solely just, it was tedious because I'm bad at it. There's not really a good solution to it. It was a good level. I really liked it. Man, when whoever that was did it, they could have just like nailed it every time. Because that's way shorter than mine. Anyway, on to the next one. I think I'll just do one more in this video because these ones have been quite long. So next up, and possibly last up, although actually I think I've got an idea for one more after this that's not from the thread. Um, Spaceship Troubles by Becca B. A daydreamer on the forum. So flash animations. I think it's meant to be flashy animations. Probably not. I don't think Becca rewrote all of Flash in Mario Maker. That'd be crazy. Uh, anyway, it's space. Space themed. Be interested to see how to do this because there's obviously not much in the way of space stuff in this. Oh, if they added a Mario Galaxy theme to this game, that's right, put your helmet on. Okay, ignition's ignited. <laughs> Off to space we go. That's pretty good. I like that. Oh, I've never heard this music. Or if I have, I forgot. Okay, let's go to this door. Oh, there's a bunch of noise outside. And I hope my microphone's not picking up. Oh my god, this wiggler. 
I don't know if I've ever seen the space wiggler. Oh god. I'm gonna die. I need to not bring these in next time. <laughs> ah, this is better. Ah. Give me my cape, my space cape. No! That's definitely not what I wanted. Okay. I don't know what I might be doing. I guess I need the feather and need to take it back. Ugh. I probably need it for that second, but... Alright, let's go back into space. But yeah, if they made a... Uh, like, Mario Galaxy theme... It would be the greatest thing ever. I don't even know what would really be different from the other themes in it, but I just love Mar uh, Mario Galaxy. It's probably my favourite Mario game. Like, probably ever. I mean, Mario World and Mario 3 are definitely up there, but... Mario Galaxy is so good. Mario Galaxy 2 is technically better, but I, I don't know why, but the first one, I think, is the one for me. Why did I bring the Wiggler back into this world? Goddamn Space Wiggler, leave me alone. This top one because it gives a feather. Oh, it even has. I'm being especially silly because it tells you which ones. Because they have crosses of coins over them. Like, this is a good one. Yeah, see? That's a bad one because it's crossed out. I'm just not smart to pick up on this. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't realize I needed coins. Right, so I need another three of these. This seems tough. Oh, this is scary. Like, it's not actually that hard, but it was scary. Ah. Uh, I lost my helmet. How am I breathing space? I can't breathe in space. That's crazy. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing now. I suppose this. Ah uh -huh. I feel like the frame rate was dropped, but I don't think it is. I think it's just how this is. Where does this go? Um, I don't think I can go right. I think this is lying to me. I thought maybe there was an invisible block there, but... It doesn't seem like it. Let's keep going. I don't know if I can do this without the cape. I could have went down there and got another cape, which would have been the smart idea. Instead, I've done this. Boo. Go far though. So you need to go through that first one to get a cape, and then you have to use it to get through that second one, or the start of the second one. I struggle so many times to get my goddamn helmet this time. Let's go to space. I love this little takeoff sequence. That's smart. It's very silly, but it's smart. I don't really get what this bit meant to be. I'm sure it's very clear for everyone else, and it's just me being tired. These are bad. This is good. That's the mushroom, which I don't need. This is one of the feathers. Oh god, that helmet saved my life. Always wear your helmet, as it turns out. It may save you from a fireball, which is why astronauts wear helmets. Not many people know that. That was dumb. Uh, right, let's go. This whole thing feels so scary. But I trust the coins. I need to fall in here again. I trust the coins to guide and protect me. 
Which I shouldn't. But I do. Don't put your faith in coins. Because that happens. Alright. This time. I do feel like there should be a checkpoint after this launch sequence. As much as I like it. It is rather long. Oh, whoops. Uh... Oh, so you can just soft lock up here? That's not good. <laughs> Oops. I was one of them. I didn't mean to test it. I was just bad. I'm just bad. I didn't realize there was a I have been bested comment there. Someone definitely struggling with it as well. I don't think it's that hard. I'm just messing up. I think it's doable. And I'm gonna do it. You have the pro to me guarantee. Hmm. I've also had the worrying suspicion that my audio has been low this whole recording. Which means I need to go in and tweak it manually. Good thing is I record with commentary and video and separate channels so I can rip out the game audio and my audio separately. I just don't want to though because it's a lot of work. So hopefully I'm just being paranoid. Right, room two. Get this coin. Well, fail to get this coin like I do every time. Do this. Just be terrified because it definitely looks like his foot should have hit all of those. Wait, wait, no, that's my helmet. Oh well. Who needs a helmet when you have a space cape? Oh, I jumped at the wrong time for this. Oh no, no, it's actually not too bad. Okay. Let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Just like a question mark. Oh, come on. Nope, 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 nope. That's definitely not what was meant to happen there. But hey. Oh, it is. Actually, these coins do seem to kind of leave that way. Uh. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> I did it. I made it. I don't know if that was the intended way, but I did it. I hope I don't need a cape for this next bit. Or I'm doomed. Okay. Good use of effects in this. Can you blow up bombs with this? No. Oh, you can with the helmet though. As long as I stay low, the helmet should protect me, I think. Oh, there's something in this. I probably need whatever it is. Oh no, this is the bit from earlier. Isn't it? Yeah. I'm just above that. So then you go through here, I take it. That's cool. I like that. And then this is the other one from earlier. Alright, this level is smart. I like it. I am on board. So are these arrows for now then? I'm just going to keep going to the right. It has done me well so far. Oh, there was a fire flower down there. I need the fire flower. That's why there's all these. Oh god, that's fine. That's fine. I can live. So low on time. Because we have fire flowering in this, it shoots way more. Which I think I probably need. Oh, this thing's so slow. 
Not the fastest spaceship in the world. Where do I need to go? I don't remember if the end of this was those kind of blocks or not. Oh, it wasn't the spikes. Oh, that's why the question mark was here. Oh, that makes sense. This level's so smart. Oh, but I hate this bit. <laughs> I hate this bit so much already. Oh no, my helmet. I needed that. I hope I didn't need that. This level's been pretty good about giving me the things I need. So... I assume if I need the spike helmet, it'll give me another spike helmet. Get lost, you damn cannons. Okay. Oh, that was stressful. Back to Earth. Congrats. Oh, there should be an N in there. I ran out of time! I shouldn't have went back. Oh my god. Right, let's do this super quickly. Now I know where I'm going. Know where I'm going. Know how to do it. We'll do it quickly. I got distracted by congratulations being spelled incorrectly. Smart though. I like this level. This is probably one of the best themed levels I've played. No offense to the other themed levels I've played. They've all been good. But this is just very smart. Smart use of uh, walls. Smart use of the new mechanic in this where if you build a full wall it stops the camera moving. So it lets you do things like put a wall there so it looks like the end of a level and then later on smash it to connect all the levels together. That's just cool. Ah. And it's not difficult, it's just I've been clumsy. The one thing I'd say I maybe don't like too much about it is this bit. Because I feel like I'm going to... I feel like these... Leaps are scary in a way that I don't like, but hey, that's life, eh? Everything's scary in a way you don't like. Or is that just my life? Oh, come on, come on, spin. No! I needed that. Oh, God, survive. Okay, not too bad. I think I can do it. I hope I can do it. I don't really want to go through this level again as much as I like it. I kinda... I feel like I beat it. Right. So I want to go down really when we get to this end, but... And then we'll get the fire flower. I don't need to do what I did before and backtrack. Oh, can you not get through here? Come on. I don't think the time limit's even actually that big a deal. I think I just spent too much time kind of exploring last time. Oh, wait, I can just do this. Just do this thing that I'm not doing. Okay, well, let's go up. Fight things, do not lose the fire flower. Jesus Christ, do not lose the fire flower. Nothing to kill with it, but I want it. I don't think the fire flower is really essential. I, just, I want it, because it makes this easier. I don't really like to aim. And aiming is for losers. Oh god. 
Go on time again. Honestly, I might get through this faster if I just jump out of the ship. Well, when I had health. Not now. No! Oh god. Okay. Back to Earth. Back to congratulations. Not to make fun of your spelling, but... It's missing an N. <laughs> get through it. That level's great! I love that. I had to jump from clown car to get through the boopers, but yeah, that's... Dixit's probably right there. I did bounce through it, but it seemed like it'd be much easier if I just had the fire flower jumped out and ate the hits on the spikes and just ran through it. But that level's fantastic. Now, go do one last thing before we end this video. Someone said, and I don't know 100% for sure if it's true, that levels with zero plays eventually just get deleted. So I want to go on here and play a level with zero plays. Let's go to... Uh, um, uh, let's just go with the first one. Let's go with this the airship. Airship of Lumi, it says dumb. But you know what? No, no levels are dumb. I mean, this one might be dumb because you have to defeat 29 Koopa Troopers and that's quite a lot of Koopa Troopers. Honestly, this level might be a bit dumb. You might be right. It's also a new Super Mario Brothers, so you know it's a bit dumb at least. I right, getting used to this with gravity again after playing that level. Oof. I'm used to the low gravity stuff of the this level is You know maybe I maybe I'm wrong, maybe Maybe <laughs> Okay. You know what, never mind, this level's alright. <laughs> okay. I like your level. Yeah, so someone said that, I don't know how much actually there was, like I said before, uh, but someone said that zero play levels get deleted after a little bit. And so every now and again I go in and play a couple of the newest levels that haven't got any plays, just to make sure that doesn't happen to them. Because I feel like it's a nice thing to do. So I thought I'd do it at the end of this. Um, that was maybe not quite as good as the ones from the waypoint thread, but I like it. Good job, plastic. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. I believe episode 11. I've done a lot of them. Uh, go keep doing more because I'm still enjoying it. Hope you guys are still enjoying it too. There's still a lot of levels in that forum thread that I've not played. So if you want to play them, go play them. Or you want to play these, go play them. Uh, level codes are all going to be in the description below this. Go watch the other videos. There'll be links as I'm talking on screen. Probably one of them goes to the playlist and one of them goes somewhere else. Because that's how it goes. Subscribe to the channel. I don't have any ads or anything. I don't get paid for this. But, you know, it makes me happy to have more subscribers. So that's a good thing, right? <laughs> See you guys.